Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Holy Post. A little louder, Mrs. Stein. Mrs. Stein yes. Post. 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 The Holy Post. 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 Here we are. It's we. Not, it's not we, the Holy Kellogg. It is. No, no. This is the Holy Post. Oh my right. gosh! It starts already. I love cereal. Here, isn't cereal great? It's the best. Oh my gosh! This is just Lunch, like dinner, squirrel. Breakfast. Hello. What? Huh? So we are here with Principal Nichols and Mrs. Steingast. Okay, one of our middle school teachers who teaches my favorite subject, math. God bless her. And I try to be positive about math when I'm around Mrs. Stein, yes. That's right. I'm trying. But anyway, I had a traumatic experience in middle school with math. Nonetheless, it's all good. You're asked uh, to do math? I was asked to do it. <laughs> it was horrible. I just did. Oh, my God. Are you was still using awful. it today? What's that? Are you still using math today? No, that's why I have Renee Schmidbauer, a business manager, oh. and Trish Schultz, the bookkeeper. <laughs> and I have to use it. Yay! We talked about three persons in one God just last week. I, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? It's a little math for How you. Does that work, math it's Catholic matters. math. Oh yeah, it's Catholic math. It's not know? Catholic mass. It's Catholic. Well, we math. are here, my friends, and we are just getting ready to welcome our kids back to back to school night because school starts tomorrow on the 23rd and so we are excited and we are we're excited with uh, you might not have ever seen this statue but saint joseph was hanging out in the trophy case in the community center and people never really noticed him no so we put him here now in this main entryway and uh, all sorts of different things we moved our purple doors because that's uh, going to help our kids to be safe we got all this type of stuff going on ken weston kershner and mike weisenberger and their staff did some amazing things uh, this summer to get the building uh, all situated and set. And Mr. Nichols was working hard to get everything put together. So how many how many kids are we welcoming into the building? So we got like sure. 420 total kids. We got about 58 preschoolers, 360 some odd. Uh, K to eighters, and then uh, so we're we've got a full building. We have exactly 100 in the prep school. That's exactly. the you know that's the largest prep school that we've had since I, I've been here. I that blows the record away, which amazing. was last year. That was 84, and now we've got 100. Before that, it was 76. That's amazing. So yeah, there's there's uh, more kids in sixth through eighth grade than what there's been in over a decade. Which is awesome. Which so. is awesome. And Mr. Nichols, this is year what for you? This is year thirteen. Year Lucky 13. year thirteen. Year thirteen. Yeah, nothing's nice. gonna happen nice. bad in year thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> Not a thing. We've got a swimming pool. I mean, new classrooms going in. So. It's wonderful. Well, we are excited. And what are you most looking forward to with this school year? Thirteenth uh, year. In, in all honesty, I've been here with the family center when construction was going on, and it was just a an exciting time to work through construction, to work even work through construction problems, you. But having that new addition put onto the building and come May when we get to walk through uh, to hit, coincide that with Grandparents Day and have the grandparents come through to look at the new addition to the preschool and have the teachers get excited as we get closer and you can see the pieces start to put together. Right now, it's just a giant hole, but as that moves forward, <laughs> people are going to get more and more excited as Amen they see pillars go up, yeah. they see drywall go in, they see the lights turn on. That's going to be exciting to watch that just grow and progress over the summer. Yeah. Mrs. Steingast, what are, you, what are you looking forward to after a good summer uh, and all that good stuff? I got three things that popped into my head. I am a big extrovert, so just people. I love my family. Amen, and I'm girl. Ready this to is see why, other see, this is why I know. Extroverts united. Yes. Here we are. Um, so I'm ready to just see the kiddos again, and I'm ready to work with my team again, and all the people here in the school and the parish offices. I love it. Um, secondly, I'm most excited for um, I don't have my saint yet but the saints on the outside of our doors it's oh, really this neat is really to learn. cool tell yeah tell, yeah, tell, every, the, tell the viewers every I think just teachers no this, oh, this is everybody. Here, everybody. everybody every everybody. office every room um, we all got to pick our favorite saint and they ordered um, icons is that the right yep, icons right to term. go above our name plates so yeah. some of us still That's don't really have cool. them in but we're really excited is yours back ordered? mine no they, I don't think any are back ordered anymore Okay. I think they're all on their way. On their way. Okay. Um, and then thirdly, I'm most excited, not most excited about, thirdly, I'm excited for my pencil sharpener moved in my room from behind my desk to the other side so it's more accessible to the students. It's the little things. It's the little things. That it really is. is the little things. Wow, if we would have known that that was going to make you happy, we, we would have gave you that screwdriver a long time ago. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> well, that is... 
that's really sad. Uh, I mean, they're happy. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, nonetheless. Pencil sharpener. And I'm excited to break out my vuvuzela and interrupt all the teachers uh, and do all that type of stuff, which I do so well, you know. Um, but we love having the kids back. We're excited to bring kids closer to Christ. Our job is to lead them to heaven. That's what we're trying to do, and we're so excited about that. Here's the other thing. This weekend is the German American Festival. And yours truly is going to be You're not on the Glockenspiel going. on uh -huh. Saturday evening. I will be up on the Glockenspiel again. Last year, if you remember, my my dreams, my hopes, my desires were all fulfilled by getting to go up on the Glockenspiel, and they're having me back, Mr. Nichols. Uh, they're I'm having surprised me. that they are. I, <laughs> I thought that was a one-way ticket. I, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited. So come on out on Saturday night to the German American Festival in Oregon and just cheer me on. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing, what I'm gonna be doing yet, but that's all. That's all good. I'll have later hosing on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, it's gonna be exciting, Mrs. Stein. I'm excited. Okay. Well, we have a back to school night to get ready for, that's and right. so we are going to peace out and get ready for that. Uh, pray for us. Pray yes. for the uh, the teachers, the faculty, Please. administration, Please. Uh, the parents, our kids, because again, we're excited for this year, but we need all the prayers that we can get. Uh, oh. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.